Hey guys, today is Wednesday, June 9, 2010, and today I'm talking about the iPhone 4. iPhone 4. I'm uh, just going to go over a quick uh, couple things with you. Uh, talk, uh, basically about what they talk about, the engineered glass. Uh, it's the same glass that's used in windshields of helicopters and high-speed trains. Uh, chemically strengthened to be 20 times stiffer and 30 times harder than plastic so uh, I, I definitely think it will help between the scratches between everyone drops their phone cracks the screen um, that will definitely help out with that um, the new display is a 960 by 640 backlit LCD display um, 326 pixels per inch and uh, I you know I I'm just looking at the display now and I know usually displays look pretty nice anyway but um I I definitely think this will be a good display when it first comes out of the box and I think the display will stay that way uh because of the new um scratch resistance right here scratch resistance and um because the screen's more scratch resistant I think it will look better for a longer period of time uh they now have a new stainless steel band in the in the iPhone 4 and it's created from their own alloy, uh, forged five times stronger than the standard steel. Why you need five times stronger than the standard steel, I have no idea why. Um, but uh, they do have a band around there now, now it's not just uh, regular plastic. And it has a faster processor, the A4 processor made by Apple. Uh, Apple engineer designed uh, for uh, the A4 chip. To be remarkably powerful, yet yeah, remarkably powerful, power efficient mobile processor. Um, so power efficiency. Now go back up here. Look at the screen. How bright that screen is. You're definitely going to need uh, uh, definitely a good battery for the brightness of the screen. You can always turn the battery, uh, the brightness down on the screen, but you're definitely going to need a uh, a good battery for that. And I think it will be able to handle more games and stuff like that. The accelerometer, uh, for those of you who don't know what an accelerometer is, it's basically just the way you tilt the uh, monitor and the way you can still see it in the same way. A lot of laptops, if you change, if you tilt it one way or another, it will um, change the way you dis you see it. Uh, this will this way really does not. It has a iPhone 4, it's the first phone, with a built-in 3-axis gyroscope. Uh, this is not the first phone with the accelerometer, of course not, because the Nexus 1 has an accelerometer as well. It might have the first gyro, whatever that is, but it definitely does not have the first accelerometer. Uh, camera and LED. Uh, it has this. Uh, the iPhone 4 has cameras on both sides, front and back, for uh, Skype calls um, or self-portraits or whatever you want to call them, or whatever you want to do with your camera. It, uh, the camera is a 5 megapixel photo for and stunning HD video. So it's 5 megapixels for photos. I don't know what it is for videos. They don't tell us, but it does say they're high definition videos. Um, and my webcam is high definition, so it has to be uh, somewhat good, even in minimal definition and high definition. Uh, captures beautiful images. That's what you're going to tell us anyway. Uh, and it has a flash on it. it. Does have an LED flash, which will come in handy for self-portraits. Mic and speakers. This this has uh, several speakers on it. The iPhone 4 has two speakers uh, on the bottom there, and I'm sure one on the top. Uh, to the main the main mic located on the bottom next to the dock connector for phone calls, voice commands, and memos. The second mic is built into the top the headphone jack for FaceTime calls. Um, Multi-touch technology, we don't need to go over that because uh, that's what they've been doing the entire time. They may have tweaked it a little bit. Uh, but yes, also about the uh, tweaking, the operating system on the iPhone 4 is also new and I will tell you more about that. But the iPhone 4 arrives on June 24th. Available June 24th in all Apple stores and probably Target and Walmart and everything else, June 24th. Uh, Pre-order status is June 15th, so you can start pre-ordering your um, your, iP your iPhone 4 uh, on the 15th. Now notice this is only for the iPhone, not the iPod. iPhone only. Um, 
and the compatibility you do have the, the uh, option of upgrading your operating system uh, for from the iPhone 3G OS to the iPhone 4G OS so you can change the operating system there um, the iPhone but there is a compatibility right here uh, the, I, uh, the iPhone 4 OS works with iPhone 4 of course and iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 3G not all features compatible with all devices for example multitasking is available only with iPhone 4 and 3GS uh, that's probably because of the processor but I would suggest that if you do upgrade uh, I would think that might slow it down a little bit because uh, just look the uh, difference and if you look at the operating system screen difference the operating system is a little more flashy um, and if you do upgrade it might slow down it by a little bit maybe not a lot maybe not much but a little bit uh, compatibility or just the comparison actually comparison of the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 3GS uh, iPhone 3GS does come in 8 gigabyte 16 and 32 gigabyte but the iPhone 4 only comes in 16 and 32 gigabytes at one starting at one hundred ninety nine dollars to uh, two two hundred ninety nine dollars uh, only the iPhone 4 has a high resolution display other than the th iPhone uh, 3GS which is a 480 by 320 resolution um, both have multi touch technology uh, this is for FaceTime calls only the iPhone 4 has FaceTime calls 5 megapixels 3 megapixel camera 5 megapixels 3 megapixels uh, LED flash this doesn't have a flash on it the iPhone 3G uh, has an auto focuser on it so is this and tap to focus same thing uh, so the only thing really there is the megapixel change which changed by 2 megapixels whoa um, video recording high definition video recording uh, this only has VGA video recording tap to focus while recording tap to focus while recording and LED light so uh, nothing really changed there except for the high definition video uh, which a lot of people are going into now uh, high technology multi touch this has changed from a um, from BG this just has BG on it for the iPhone 3GS and this the iPhone 4 is uh, an N which really doesn't matter, it doesn't really boost your range at all it just cha uh, makes your transfer rate for your wireless internet faster GPS, both has a GPS and accelerometer both has an accelerometer, probably this one's probably better this is the only uh, iPhone that has a 3G access gyro uh, Apple A4 processor, the only one that has A4 processor this probably has an A3 processor which they did not say uh, dual mic, noise suppression uh, so does the Nexus one uh, several new features with the operating system right here uh, so right there uh, color black and white just black I still prefer the black uh, battery life seven hours for the iPhone f uh, up to seven hours on the iPhone 3G up to 14 hours on the iPhone 2G uh, I don't think it's changed that much then because they're not saying what the 4G is. Standby time is up to 300 hours on both phones. Internet usage is 5 hours on 3G. Yeah, it do, it, uh, doesn't really tell me anything about the 4G, so I'm guessing it's about the same, or it is the same. Uh, audio playback is up to 40 hours, up to 30 hours on the iPhone 3GS. Uh, video playback 10 hours 10 hours so really uh, this does have some new features that you may like uh, some a better camera um, but a better camera a little more touchy um, the oh yes also it's coming out with HTML5 HTML5 is now out so uh, stuff you use flash for for uh, getting your um, for getting everything you play with videos and stuff like that will now be played by HTML with HTML5 uh, set so because flash doesn't come with it so you will be happy to know that you will be able to do some of the things that you do with flash on here um yeah so please in the section below in the comment section below please video responses posts rates uh please post what you think will you uh buy the iphone 4 
Would you really buy the iPhone 4? Is it really worth your time? Or would you rather stick with the iPhone 3GS or 3G?